Well, we finally got it done. Like always, we were kind of ran out of time and I kind of had to bust butt to just get it done. We were supposed to go to the Upper Peninsula with family today and uh, I'm way behind. But anyways, at least we got her done. So you can see the cutoff switch back in there. The shunt, you know, some of this was in some previous footage, but then we got the Multi Plus all hooked up in there. The AC in, AC out, 12 volt lines. That little smart dongle stuck to the end there. Uh, then we got two of the batteries here. And then we got two of the batteries there. So I think it turned out pretty good. Take you in and show you the inside. Oh, and here we got that battery monitor. Still gotta grab some color putty and fill that hole in. But got that all installed there. Uh, we'll take you back here. Got the solar controller installed there. There's a seat that goes on here. Uh, the owner tore that apart himself, so I'm going to let him put that back together himself since he knows how it goes. Uh, the cell booster they bought. I got one piece there. And then I got the other. Not really sure how they want to go about doing that. Hopefully they're okay with where I put it, but that's where it's at. So ultimately... None of it's permanent, so it could be moved if needed to be. Um, I ended up reusing the previous battery switch. It's now the solar disconnect switch. Uh, I just did an inline fuse with that. That's what this fuse is here. So, circuit protection. So, you can see the batteries are full. It's already in absorption. Panels are doing pretty well on top. Uh, it's kind of overcast and cloudy today, but they've already, last time I checked, was 412 watts was what they peaked at. There's only 440 watts up there, so they're doing their thing. I'll show you that now. So here I was just removing the factory installed panel. They had this stuck down with double-sided tape and screwed in six spots, so it definitely wasn't going anywhere. Not a huge fan of flexible solar panels for various different reasons, but so we're just getting it out of the way and making room for a nice new rigid solar panel. So it's super windy out here, so I don't even know if you'll be able to hear this, but I got all four panels mounted here. Yes, one is crooked. Uh, that's after talking to the customer, that's what we decided to do rather than moving that antenna. If I put it straight, that was gonna cast a serious shadow on there. So but we got 410 watt new power solar panels. Put an entry gland in there and then you can see the tower over there that is uh, the booster the wee boost that just kind of runs around and comes in down here as well so so not too bad uh, it'll certainly serve the purpose for what they need so so that's it for this one guys we'll catch you on the next one please like and subscribe